All right there, folks. This here is Nathan with DreamMaker Photography, and today I'm gonna be creating an image as I go. I figure this video will be a combination of going into some detail as I edit, but also doing a little bit of speed editing as well. And I'll just quickly throw out there that the concept that I began with was a fantasy scene with a dragon looming over perhaps like a, a small knight or a little fantasy group of characters. And I went in, I started searching for images and pulled out some dragons. And then I went in to pull out some cave photos. And as I was trying to select them, getting a little prepared for the video, I came up with this concept of a multi-layered, multi-directional tunnel with these directions of light coming in from all these different ways. And so what I'm telling you here is that the image concept is, as my wife said the other day, infantile. I, I don't have it all planned out. I rarely ever have it planned out, but in the process of doing this, I felt the creative juices start flowing. The muse spoke to me, and so I figured what I would do is I would come in, I'd start getting editing going, and see where this thing took me. And I'm going to bring you guys along a little bit. So I'm going to jump in here and start recording as I edit and we'll see where this goes. So, first and foremost, we've gotta start drawing in uh, the different images. So, I've already pulled them from Adobe Stock and started layering them in, but as you'll see, there is very little order to what I've created so far. And these are obviously still unlicensed images pulled in, they overlap each other, there's no blending, there's no dodging, nothing's going on here. But as I go, we'll see where this thing takes us. I'm gonna shut off the camera for the moment, I'm gonna go in and start digging in, and we can speed through a lot of this process, and I'll come back online, chat with you guys a little bit more, let you know what I'm doing in the next phase, but let's get this thing started. Here we go. All right, so I think I've got my first layering in place. As you can tell, I still haven't licensed any images. This is essentially gonna be the base of my background. And again, with this concept, there's a lot of different light going on, and that'll be a challenge that I'm gonna to need to work with here in the very near future as I set this whole image up. So. The next thing I'm gonna go in and do is get the next big element. The next big element is I'm gonna be throwing uh, a dragon of some variety in here. So 
at this point, as you can tell, all I've really done is I've gone in and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight layers for the background. And that's fairly complex. I don't necessarily need to have every element of that in there, but the challenge that I've been trying to do is to create a, um, a depth and to the image to make it look somewhat three dimensional at this point. And as much as the light is kind of a, perhaps almost even distracting element to this, cause it's gonna make the brain go, what's going on here? Um, I hope that it all ties together in the end. So we'll see exactly where that goes. And uh, again, dragons coming up next. So thanks for watching guys. This is gonna be kind of fun to do. And uh, I, again, hope it all works out. Here we go. All right, as you can see, the concept has already changed pretty drastically. I think I'm down to about four background layers. I have my night in there and I'm pretty impressed with how the, the light is already casting a shadow off from him, which is very appropriate in this image. And I've got my dragon in there and after multiple iterations i currently have this very metallic golden dragon in there um kind of of an asian design as opposed to a european design dragon and i think i like it i think i like the way the tail kind of wraps around the rock there a little bit and the light all seems to be more or less where i thought i wanted it to be but now i need to start coloring blending refining my masks and enhancing the light and i'm not sure but i feel like the image is still missing something uh, not exactly sure what yet so gonna go in here and really start to tweak things around and I may start licensing some of these images um, to clean things up and help me start to get things really dialed in and one of the next steps is going to be making sure that that very metallic dragon um, 
takes on a slightly different characteristic. It's coloring for one and the contrast of that metallic is it's almost drawing too much attention and the night is barely noticeable. I think the sizing is correct but there might be something else there that I need to work with. So I think I'm going to go in here I'm going to start licensing up some images and figuring out what else it is I want to do. Here we go. All right, so I just had a little technical glitch in the computer. Happens to me sometimes. Uh, but because of that, my recording did stop and I was in making some changes before I realized that this was happening. So to just kind of talk you through a few of the things that just occurred, uh, I created this vivid light layer here and basically dialed up a lot of the colors and stuff, blending a lot of these blues and reds together, uh, giving the dragon a little extra depth and highlighting a few things. And what I'm about to do now is go in, do some dodging and burning possibly um, to just kind of tie everything together a little bit more, then make some final adjustments and I should be getting pretty close to a final product here. So uh, this will be interesting to see. All right, folks, and there we have it. I hope this video came together fairly well. The editing process took me somewhere in the vicinity of probably about three hours. And I am sure with a little more planning, I could have pulled this all together a whole lot better. Now, one more thing is 
almost every time I do one of these images, I, in the creation process, put this thing all together and then I'll come back to it in like an hour, two or a day, whatever the case is, and I'll realize I could add something else. I'm sure that will happen in this image as well, but whenever I get to this point, I'm always happy. I'm always happy with the photo and I would be happy to put it out into the world, even if I go and make an edit on it later. So hope you guys like this little video and this was a fun little project to put together. I wasn't really sure how well it would come out, but I'm pretty impressed. So thanks for tuning in.